So tonight is kind of a milestone night for me. Uh, tonight I'll get uh, my eight month chip at Celebrate Recovery. Um, I give out chips, you know, for, for starting your journey and then, you know, every month along the way until you get to a year and then, and, uh, then you get them, you know, for one year, then two years, then three years. Um, so you get, you get kind of a lot of milestones in your first year and then it's, it's, I guess it becomes old hat and they expect you to make it another year. But anyway, um, <clears throat> for me, that's, uh, I'd love to say that's eight months that I didn't get angry. I didn't resent somebody. I didn't, uh, lose my cool. I didn't, you know, I forgave everybody. I didn't hold a grudge and things like that, but that's just not something that I can say. But the thing I'm most proud of is that's eight months where I've kept myself in the struggle for purity. I've kept myself pure uh, for myself, for my wife, for my family. And it, it hasn't, <clears throat> it hasn't always been easy. Um, I'd lie. I'd be lying if I said that, you know, oh, it was a piece of cake. It wasn't that big of a deal. Because in the past in my life, you know, if I just wanted to stop something, I could just walk away. But for some reason, this was the one thing that I just couldn't walk away from. And, uh, but eight months is, is a pretty big deal. And not only has that not been affecting me in a negative way for eight months, it is it has cleaned out a lot of junk in my life in our marriage in our family it's it's made our home life uh, a lot more enjoyable um, that's not to say that you know every day is a perfect day and we're all smiles we have our ups we have our downs that that hasn't changed and that will not change <clears throat> but the one thing that is no longer pervasive in our marriage is uh, lust and sexual impurity on my part. Um, and now the only the only person I see is my wife, and the only person in my mind is my wife. And um, I'm just, you know, I'll take a step and say, you know, I'm, I'm proud of myself for that. I'm proud of how far I've come. I, I know I didn't do it alone. I know I, you know, with my wife's help, with the people in Celebrate Recovery, with the people in my 12-step program, um, and of course with God's, God's guidance is, you know, I've, I've been able to overcome something that has been such a pervasive part of my life for so long. Uh, to the point that I, I have a hard time remembering when it wasn't a part of my life. And I'm just, I'm real thankful that God has allowed me to make it to this point um, and given me the opportunity, the second chance, the third chance, the fourth chance, the fifth chance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, on and on to a number of, I can't even count how many chances that I've been given. But uh, also, and another thing, as part of Celebrate Recovery, you know, during the during the big group, before we break off into small groups, we go through a process. We we sing some worship songs, and then we go through a process of uh, either re reading the uh, the twelve steps in their biblical comparisons, or the eight principles in their biblical comparisons, um, and. You know, they ask for volunteers, you know, to sign up, and it's usually the same people, over, you know, the same couple people do it over and over again, and and I know they don't mind, but, you know, I felt I felt called and compelled to to do it, and it's, it's weird for me. <clears throat> I've never had a problem getting up in front of people, but when it comes to this situation, and I don't know why I feel this way, I'll sit in a room and I'll tell people, you know, a lot of my deepest, darkest, but yet to stand up and, you know, basically read from a cue card, just, 
it, it, I don't want to say I'm nervous or, you know, apprehensive or anything. It's just, you know, to stand up in front of the people, you know, they already know, you know, the majority of them already know, you know, what I'm dealing with and, you know, where I was and where I am and where I'm going. And it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but it's just, you know, every time I take another step in my journey, another step in the process and, and grow a little bit and, you know, I just felt compelled that I needed to do this there. I needed to stand up and be a, be a good witness to, to, you know, on behalf of Christ and say, you know, these are the things that I believe, you know, I want to, I want to say them out loud in front of a group of people. And, uh, and that's kind of the way I'm trying to look at it is I'm going to stand up in front of a group of people and tell them, you know, these are the things, you know, and make it known that these are the things that I believe. And that's a big deal for me. Um, because I talk about it with my wife and I talk about it in the 12 step group, the small group, you know, but it's, this will kind of be the first time like where like a, a public, a public arena per se, where, uh, now, now granted YouTube is very public, but it, it is still a little different. It's a little different to, you know, to put it out on video where, you know, a lot of the people that watch don't even know you and you never see uh, in real life as compared to the people that, uh, you know, you do see and then the people that are live and in person while you're doing it. It is, it is a little different. Don't ask me why. It just feels a little different to me. But I'm, I'm pretty excited about just yet again taking another step, make, reaching another milestone in, in the process. Um, because I've talked about it with my wife and I haven't really talked about it with the, the leaders and the, the, the CR that I'm involved in here. But uh, I just feel... I feel like this is something that I need to be involved in past the point where I've completed a 12 step program and, you know, I've gone through CR for a while and I've gotten, you know, I've gotten the tools I need to, to go out in my life and do the things that I need to do with, with God's help. You know, I feel like I need to be, you know, more involved and, you know, uh, take on an active role in Celebrate Recovery by you know, leading small group or leading large group or, you know, things like that. And it's just, it feels like something that I know, I think I could be good at, uh, because, uh, if I can, if I can deal with the fact that I'd have to always be speaking in front of, in front of people, I think I could, I think I could be good at that. Um, I've talked to my wife about that and she, she seems, she seems pretty cool with it. And, you know, it seems like, you know, she just she just happy that you know that I found something that uh, that makes me happy because when I'm happy, you know, I bring that happiness home and it just makes it it, it makes it better for all involved. But anyway, um, I know I've posted a lot of a lot of videos in the last couple of days. You know, as far as you know, me talking, uh, but uh, apparently just in the last few days. I just have a lot to say and you know that's just kind of how it's going to be sometimes is sometimes I'm just going to have a lot to say and sometimes I'm not going to have so much to say but I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that soon I can I can do some of the things about the lessons that we're working on so that I can put more of that out there because I've seen a pretty decent response to to some of those videos about you know the actually getting into the crux of of the CR lessons and if I can do that, uh, I think it might might help people from some of the things that I've heard. You know, even just putting that information out there, maybe they can't get to a CR group. Maybe they're they're not they're not able. There's not one near them, or they're they you know they haven't been able to overcome that that fear or that anxiety about going into a group of people and ad admitting your your habits and hurts. But uh, I'm hoping that, uh, that I can continue to do the things that I've been doing and continue to grow. And uh, I hope, to, hope that you guys watch and I 
See you next time.